right, my baby. So I'm trucking on Mimi and Fifi right now. I have to get to Walgreens because I have to try to get some stuff to put in my tray. Easter baskets, making the Easter baskets uh, from scratch. So I'm definitely trying to get a couple of little things on a tight budget, but I'm trying to put some things in the Easter basket because Easter is right around the corner. And I don't want to be that mom who tries for the last minute to get everything that she needs and can't get it. So let's get on into this Walgreens. Go get these kids a few little candies to put in their Easter baskets and we're gonna be straight. People love to be all in your mouth, Lord Jesus. Take us back to where we had to wear a mask. Baby, I thought I was filming. I was not even filming. I was showing y'all what I was putting in my kids' Easter baskets because I just came from Walgreens. Um, I did a just I just did a little quick something something for the Easter baskets. Where in my closet? Because um this is where I got them hidden. So a little quick something something. He got grass, he has some he got grass in here. And uh, we have little Easter eggs in there. I didn't want to do too much because my kids already, you know, have quite enough. As far as when they want a little candy, I can pull out a little dum dum foam. So these are their Easter baskets. In my closet, I am my closet. So I'm gonna show y'all. Since being on my own, I've been working on my stash. So we have my toilet paper. We use Angel Soft. So got the toilet paper there. Toilet paper here. So that's the Grammy rolls. We got the paper towel. I fell in love with those. And when I went to Sam's with my homegirl, I ended up getting this big old 40 thing of paper towels. So my closet, it doesn't look the best. I would definitely show y'all um, more. But I mean, this is <laughs> this is her and her discombobulation. Um, and these are clothes. I'm about to have more clothes coming up here but um yeah this is what we're doing how we're moving and the easter baskets i just opened this package i swear for god i have to tell you i just went for god i was recording all of this in my i was i ain't even had the camera on me it was faced the opposite way um i just got my package from tiktok shop i had ordered some pants some yoga pants a lot of y'all know i do have a uh, secondary lymphedema in my left foot so people be asking me like why you always you know got pants on or you know why your feet are look puffy because i have secondary lymphedema but that does not stop these men from trying to holler at your girl bigfoot or not and that's what my baby daddy be calling me that's what i'm gonna call him the ex-husband be calling me bigfoot and i'm like you know what you think i'm gonna cry because you calling me fee fight full fun i could care less i could care less i'm a titan in real life baby so these are the pants um i got them in navy because the guns be eating it up down to the instagram stories and the facebook stories so we got these, and these is all affordable. I think it was about $8 a pair. These are 75% nylon, 25% elastic. So you do have that elastic at the bum. So, and these are very much so thick, good quality. You ain't gonna be able to see through these if you have on draws. So you ain't gonna be able to see the color. We got them in black. And last but not least, I got them in olive. You can say it's an olive lime, a light lime. It's not too green, but they're definitely gorgeous. Come all the way down to the floor on five, six. Um, I got these in a size medium, I believe. No, I got them in the large. Um, I weigh under a hundred in. 90 i'm like 180 pounds i'm trying to get this weight down so i will be shrinking before your eyes on here don't get scared i'm not doing crack okay so 
we got these three pair. I can't wait to go throw them in a washer. And when we talk about washer, baby, I got me a washer and dryer. I bought a washer and dryer. You are me, I bought a washer and dryer. Yes. Baby, people take their tax money and they do whatever they want with it. When I tell you my priorities were to start trying to get things situated in my very first apartment, that's what I was trying to do pay my bills, get stuff situated in her. I didn't realize how high furniture really is and appliances until I literally started to shop. Went to Home Depot, put the order in online. The order came just as fast as I put it in. The money was snatched off the car just like that. The maintenance guys came over here with the electrician last week, hooked up the dryer, my dryer is blowing really hot. I am just so astounded. I grew up having to hand wash clothes. Listen, I grew up hand washing clothes. I know how to hand wash in a dock and get all the shit stains and grass stains and blood out your drawers and your clothes for you. For real, for real. I could probably even get some oil stains out your clothes. I'm very efficient with my hands. Grew up. I washed my hand washed my clothes all the way up until high school. So we talking about from the age of like seven years old all the way up to like 17, 18, I was hand washing my clothes. And I would hang my clothes out on the line to dry. So I'm very naturey. I know how it is outside. I know the perfect temperature to dry clothes in. I know how to get a good dry on the clothes, whether I have an iron at hand or not. And for me to have hit 31 and to finally be able to say, I purchased my first washer and dryer. I, I didn't even do that in my, when I was married to that man I had kids with. I didn't even do that when I was married. Didn't even do it when I was married. We never bought a washer and dryer. So for me to have done this, it really, it really was breaking a generational curse. And it really did make me very emotional when they came into my apartment and they put it in here and I was just like, damn. All my life, I pray for someone like, like I was just like, this is crazy. It's like, you don't be knowing how long you could go without things until you went without for so long and you finally get the opportunity to get it and you're like i'm equipped to 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 literally appreciate it i'm equipped to appreciate it to have a warranty on it and to not run it in the ground so i know that my blessings are definitely on them speaking of emotional i Because a lot of y'all don't know how country I really am, you know. And I used to get teased down about where I grew up, how I grew up, not having this, not having that. And I'm really coming into a lot. And I'd be damned if anybody took it from me or make me feel bad about how long it took for me to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just homeless. <laughs> I was just homeless two and a half years ago. And this is crazy. Like, this is, here I go crying. I'll be late. <laughs> washing tonight uh because i do two loads during the week and that would be a load of towels and that would be a load of clothes from me and my kids combined and in here this is our towels for the week so we're doing a small to medium load we also got some blankets up in here and also i sold my son's school jackets within this uh pile of laundry as well with the towels i'm just using a little little something light because of 
We do have sensitive skin over here. This is just a little Almond Hammer Order Blaster. Put a little bit of that in there. Uh, the laundry detergent of choice. We're gonna be using Tide Simply All in One. I do a eyeball of this. One, two, three, four, five. That's enough. This is Whirlpool as well. So proud of myself. Happened. Um, I fell asleep when I needed to be in here trying to finish up cleaning because I don't like to go to sleep with my sink and having anything in it. And I also had to make sure I took the clothes out of my, I have to make sure I have to take the clothes out of the washing machine and put them in the dryer so the clothes don't end up being metal glued. This is why I can actually sleep and be at peace with all that I have going on with being a single mom. And when it's time for me to sleep, I don't fight it. I do not fight my urge to sleep because it's just me. I hate to say that I'm a one woman army, but I'm literally a one woman army. If I had eight tentacles, and I was still classified as a woman, I still would have my tentacles full because there is no way within 24 hours I'm going to be switching so many hats and forgetting who I am at the end and at the beginning of the day. I just can't do it. I gotta be sane and I have to be mentally together for my children so my boobies I have my little robe on so I'm trying to cover myself as well um so here's the thing my son now understands that his dad doesn't care to be active he finally understands um he's already at a place my six-year-old is already at a place of oh i'm not even worried because daddy don't care anyway and all i could do is look because i can't tell my son that's not right because the actions aren't there you know the man don't put him in the actions. The man don't put in no work to prove the the sentiment to be untrue. And for the for the for the life of me, I'm just at a place of partner. I'm not about to beg you to come on down here to Baton Rouge. Come get your kids on a court appointed weekend. And be a father. Spend time with him. Come get him actually on a Friday night. So you can have a little longer with him. I'm not even doing it. Because it's now very clear to me. That. If a man. Wants to be a father. And he know. Whether or not that's the seed. And he's being. In the right mind frame to do it. And he don't want to do it. There's nothing you could do to learn how to disconnect with the negative and embrace the positive because I started really sitting in my thoughts about what I could have done differently to have a better co-parenting relationship when all I have done is try to have a better co-parenting relationship because of my inner child um, not growing up with a father because my father was deceased upon me arriving into this world. So I had to take time out to understand that 
my kids won't have the version of the father that I wanted to have growing up because their father is still in the mindset of selfishness, of bitterness, of remorse, um, of a lot of regret for everything that has happened to cause the divorce. Whether his baby mama like it or not, his girlfriend like it or not, his actions towards his kids has everything to do, his first set of kids has everything to do with the marriage. 10 years of hate, 10 years of love, 10 years of learning somebody who I do believe he is still very much obsessed with me. He hates me so much. He hates the fact that he's obsessed with me. And he knows that I'm very resilient. He knows that I've been through so much trauma. He knows that I had a very rough upbringing that he doesn't mind inflicting more. Because it's like, oh, let's take a hand of that. I'm going to just be, I'm going to be a bull ass nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad self. You a baby. Throw your hands up high. So, I mean, for me, I'm just doing everything that I have to do to stay sane, to keep my kids on one accord. I got to hurry up and run back to them right now. They're watching Bluey and I don't know what's happening right now. So, I got to run back and check on them. But overall, I just want y'all to know that I'm holding it together. Yes, I have had my periods of depression. Yes, I do have my periods of anxiety. But I promise you, I'm not going to let it tank me. Because this, this, this co-parenting situation is definitely what I, I, I want it to be. And right now, it's not serving my kids to its highest good. So I'm letting it go. And as we go on this journey of letting go of the co-parency, that's what it's just going to be. Letting it go. He wants to be a dad on Christmas Day of 2028, then go ahead on and be a daddy. But the whole thing is, I don't want for all of this popping in and popping out of my kids' lives to be a constant reflection of what I'll allow for them to experience. I'd rather go to the courts and go for my full custody, show them all the receipts of why he doesn't reach out, why he doesn't talk to them, why he feels like child, him paying his child support money is enough. He don't have to be present. He don't have to call. I just want to go ahead on to the courts, lay it all the way out, get my full custody. And then when the time come move and he don't know where we at. Because as it is, I send one text message and if it possibly goes through, because he done took me off a block. For the possibility of me texting, I already know it's going to be stop texting my phone. And like I said, so many things happen. I just took with a severe allergic reaction last weekend. And I was literally in here barely able to breathe. So I'm just like, Lord, I just pray nothing ever happens to me. And my kids have to go and live with him and whoever he's shacking up with. Because they will not be able to you know, experience all the love and all the and all the joy and the laughter that I'm literally trying to pour into their lives right now. So mama's still trying to grind. Mama's still trying to get in. Mama is doing everything she has to do to get her health in check. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and I'm definitely going to make it do what it do for my kids. So this is going to be yet a rewarding journey as it has been. And I'm not going to let it get the best of me. I have had two many sleepless nights. And that hunchback, mop it, that's that. I'm, I'm done. I'm not even going to take it there. I'm not going to take it there. I'll talk to you in the next vlog video. See you later. Tater tots.